He's not quite angelic anymore. Warren? He's not Warren anymore, Shale. Apocalypse machine make him L'Ange du Mort, the angel of death, now and forever. You're wrong! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Archangel. Return to me, O oh sweet death, my horseman, and all shall be forgiven. Forgiven? You ruined my life! Ruined? No! I have created a slave of you, yes, but a slave of courage and fire. I am no slave! As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We've chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1987's X Factor, issues number 10 to 18 and 23 to 25, which was expanded upon in 1996's Uncanny X Men number 338, as well as 2008's X Force number 4 and 5. Years after becoming a founding member of the X Men, Warren, otherwise known as Angel, found himself in the tunnels below Manhattan trying to stave off a vicious attack on a group of mutants known as the Morlocks. A group of evil mutants known as the Marauders were on a rampage, killing the largely defenseless Morlocks, and Angel and his cohorts in X-Factor were not going to stand by idly and let that happen. Unfortunately for Warren, he was overcome by two of the Marauders, who pinned him to a wall by his wings, causing irreparable damage. Soon after, doctors were forced to amputate his wings in order to save his life, causing Warren to be overcome with anguish and depression as he was stripped of the one thing that made him whole. Feeling worthless, he set flight the only way he could now, in one of his planes, before attempting to kill himself. But he was saved by an unlikely source, his sworn enemy, the elitist mutant known as Apocalypse. Angel then found himself being altered against his will and turned into one of the four horsemen known as Death, or Archangel. Will they be the same? They'll be glorious. How will you- Shh. No more questions when you awaken. You'll be a new man. Now with blue-tinged skin and new, metal, techno-organic wings that had the ability to launch metal, poison-tipped feathers, Archangel became far more dangerous than Angel ever was. Now the leader of Apocalypse's Four Horsemen, Archangel revealed his new identity to his longtime friends and teammates before viciously attacking them. While they attempted to reason with him and somehow get him to remember his former self, Archangel and his fellow horsemen made their escape to wreak havoc on New York. Forced into another battle, Archangel didn't hold back and came to believe that he'd killed Iceman, his old friend Bobby Drake. The shock that this had on his mind allowed him to break his programming and rejoin X-Factor. What? What have I done? In the years that followed, Archangel continued to fight crime, using the wings that Apocalypse gave him despite a love-hate relationship with them, until one day they wilted away, revealing feathery wings underneath them. Not sure what caused this transition, Archangel found himself transitioning back completely to his original form, with his original skin color returning as well. Happy to be whole again for a brief moment, Warren's life was again thrust into upheaval when his wings were yet again torn off, this time by fellow Xavier follower Rain Sinclair, who'd lost control of her feral Wolfsbane self. Finding himself wingless yet again, something truly shocking took place this time around as his wings regrew almost immediately. However, his metal, techno-organic wings reasserted themselves, and his skin went back to the familiar shade of blue. Now he was able to switch back and forth between the Angel and Archangel forms, so Warren could be at peace one moment and then turn deadly scary in just an instant. No one understands what must be done! I must see him destroyed! Archangel has made appearances in both the 90s X-Men cartoon Worthington is no more. Now there is only... Archangel, let the world beware. And Wolverine and the X-Men. What happened to you? You took something from me, father. I got it back. He was also heavily included in the 2005 video game, X-Men Legends 2, Rise of Apocalypse, as a villain. I am Archangel, a horseman of Apocalypse. Are you a fan of Archangel? There exists no freedom from me. For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.